Hey guys, this might be a long video because I'm calling it 50 pet peeves. I'm pretty sure I've got more than that but I thought I'd keep it to a minimum. Yes, 50 is a minimum, for me anyway. So without further ado, let's start! Why did I just do that? Number one, waking up late. Number two, when dogs watch you eat or they start begging you for your food. Talking of dogs, number three, when they're sat in front of you licking their genitals. It's even worse when you're actually eating. I'm sure they do it on purpose. Number four, when your dog farts and then looks at you in disgust. I'm like, what are you looking at me for? It was you. Let's move on to cars and drivers. I've got quite a few. Like number five, those people who don't indicate on roundabouts. Just use them. It takes like a second to press it. And then there's number six. Those drivers who indicate that they're coming into the road that you're coming out of. Start flashing the headlights at you to say, it's okay to come out. I know what your indicator means. Which leads me on to number seven, where people flash the headlights to say thank you, instead of just putting their hand up. Thanks, I like being blind. Number eight is one that really, really grates me. Are those people who toot their horns. Those drivers who pull up to people's houses and toot their horns to say that they're there. Just tell them by phone, or text, or I don't know, get out of your car. Basically, they're lazy. And of course, when they start driving away, they toot the horn to say bye. What, you haven't already said goodbye? Just leave. And number nine, those people with loud music in the cars. All you can hear as it passes by. Turn it down. You're not deaf yet. Number ten, when I'm behind another car and suddenly a cigarette butt flies out. Why? Filthy habit, you should stop doing that. Number 11, cars parked on pavements. It's getting so bad now that when you're walking up that pavement, you have to walk around the car. What about those people who have got prams and they have to push it around onto the road? Talking of parked cars, number 12, those people who can't park between two white lines in a car park. Come on, get a grip of the steering wheel and turn it so you straighten up properly. Number 13, motorcycles parked in car spaces. Number 14, at petrol stations where they park the car on the wrong side of the petrol pump and so they have to reach the pipe across to get to it. Why? Do you, do you just not got no patience? Selfish is what it is. Number 15 is when I'm driving and somebody's right up my rear end. I'm not going to go any faster. Going back to parked cars, number 16, those random ones that are parked outside of my house. What? Do you want to come use my bathtub as well? Park elsewhere. Number 17, when you get that warning sign saying that the seatbelt in the passenger seat isn't connected. Uh, yeah, that's because I've got shop in there or my dog. It happens quite often, it's annoying. Let's move away from cars now. Number 18 is creatures in my bathtub. You know what I'm talking about, such as spiders. And for some reason sometimes wood lice, which makes no sense because there's no wood there at all. 19 is something I mentioned on a recent episode of Smeg Chris. Dust. I clean it up and within a week, it's back. Number 20, people who talk too quietly. Like for example a work colleague of mine, he wears earplugs and because of that he thinks he's speaking louder than he actually is. But no, not really. So I'm going, huh? And then number 21, people who talk too loudly. Ooh, sorry. Number 22 is one of those that really grates me. People who walk on the road when there are perfectly good pavements on either side. Now when it's been snowing I understand it, but when there is no snow and there's no reason for you to be on the road, why, 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 why do they do it? Use the pavement. Which reminds me of number 23, mobility scooters. They are a menace. Honestly, when they're on a pavement, it's like seeing the flash run past. They just zoom. Yet when they're on the road, they go dead slow, holding up all the cars behind. Number 24, those people who sniff up really loudly instead of just blowing their nose in a tissue. And then number 25, those people who blow their nose really loudly. I swear to God, there is a guy at work, I'm not gonna mention his name, and when he blows into his hanky, it's like a trumpet. There's just no need for it. 26, key rings, and here's a fine example. Look at it, the key gets trapped in between the rings themselves. Sometimes when it's in your pocket, you just, they all do it, and then you have to like, fight with it to get it out. These rings are far too big, they need to make them smaller. Number 27, when I'm at the cinema and people are talking through the trailers. I don't mind you talking through the adverts, adverts suck. And still at the cinema, number 28, people who start playing on the phones halfway through a film. 29, when I get a pen and I'm trying to put the top back on and I end up stabbing myself. I do it so often. Number 30, something that has grated me since I was a child. Littering. Number 31, people not returning trolleys at supermarkets. Again, lazy. Talking of supermarkets, number 32, 
when you go in up to a shelf and you know where the food is that you want and suddenly it's not there because they've moved it to another shelf behind you. I've just recently been faced with that. It's annoying. Number 33, guys who walk around with jeans halfway down their arses. Pull them up, I don't want to see your skid marks. In fact, buy a belt. Number 34, people taking food off my plate without asking. It's a big no-no. Number 35, and this actually happened to me today, when you've got somebody knocking on your door trying to sell you something. Today's example was the white van parked outside my house, like literally out there, one of my pet peeves, knocked on the door, I answered. Yes, I work for tree services, I can help cut down your trees that you've got in your garden. And all I could think was, if I wanted my trees cutting down, I'd have already had it done by now. I sent him on his way. But the one that I usually get, like at least once a year, somebody knocking on my door saying, I can see you've got new PVC windows, but... Why are you bothering me? If you can see that I've got PVC windows that are new, then why are you trying to sell me more? FYI, they're not new, they've been there about 16 years, but they're still in good condition. This is why I want a front door with a people so that I can see these people come to the door and I can just ignore them. In fact, why haven't I had anybody come to the door trying to sell me a front door? Huh. Oh, number 36. TV guide critics when they describe a movie and it's completely wrong, which means that they've not watched it. Number 37, I think, is something everybody has found. When you're trying to find something in your house, but you can't find it. And the main problem is it's not in the place that you would normally put it in. Number 38, dropping your phone and shattering it. And I did the exact same thing to my last phone too. Number 39, people who are late. You know, those people who say that they're going to be there at 8 o'clock and it's 20 past, half past, 9 o'clock. Number 40, text message replies where it's only one word, like OK. It's not OK, you're just wasting a whole text. Number 41, adverts, they are everywhere. On your TV, on your phone, on your computer, at the cinema, on billboards, on buses. I'm surprised they're not on the inside of your eyelids by now. 42. The number 42. I see it everywhere. I've mentioned this many times before. Let's move on. 43. Racist people. 44. Christmas. It's supposed to be for 12 days before and 12 days after. Not for 4 months. Although in reality it should be for 3 days. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. That's it. 45, and I'm sure everybody agrees with me on this one, Facebook changing all the time, and it's never for the better. Number 46, where I go to make a cup of tea and somehow I inadvertently make a cup of coffee. It's amazing how often I do that. Number 47, everybody has done this at some point in their lives. Going upstairs to fetch something, and you get to the top and you're like, what was it I was going for again? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit gross with the next two. Number 48, when you're wiping your butt and your pee dribbles out onto your hand. And I'm always like, why? Not really. And number 49, when the toilet paper breaks through. Yeah, less said about that the better. And finally, number 50, people complain way too much about anything and everything, which is what I've just done for the last 50 pet peeves. Oops. Sorry. And that's my time. I'd like to hear what your pet peeves are down there in the comments. Now just before I go, I want to point out the boxes at the side of me are links to other videos that I've made like Smeg Chris and Smeg Chris Review, and of course on my second channel where I do my vlogs. Just to point out that that channel has got more subscriptions than this channel. So if you haven't already, see that subscribe button down there? Just go and click it, it's free. If you want, I can't force you. And whilst you're down there, you might see that there are some links. They are to Facebook and Twitter where you can follow me on them. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, peace out. This might be a long video because I'm calling it my... F I'm pretty sure I've got more than that, but I thought I'd keep it at a minimum. At a minimum? A minimum, a minimum, a minimum. <laughs> Itchy nose. And talking of parked cars, what about those people in car parks? No, <laughs> yeah, no. Twelve, and I've got fifty. I'm on way too much about things.